So in the next video we'll probably uh, learn how to connect the PZ0420 camera to our video link but right now we're going to be waterproofing it and uh, when we do hook it up we're going to be using this uh, 1.3 gigahertz system from ReadyMade RC and this is the receiver here and that's the transmitter but we'll get to that later I want to keep the PZ0420 camera as light as possible while still making it waterproof so at the advice of Superbell82 and I'll throw a link up for his channel I'm gonna go ahead and waterproof it with some Plasti Spray now the first thing he recommended was to hot melt this little crystal oscillator which is right here and zoom in that little can right there can come loose it's just hanging on two wires and it can come loose and break and if you lose your oscillator the whole camera quits so it's a good idea to hot melt that down well I decided instead of hot melting it that I was going to use some welders glue and so here's the welders glue right here that I got from the hardware store and it's a rubber cement so I removed that little white label or paper label that was underneath the can on t it was actually stuck on top of the chip and um, then I went ahead and put a drop of welders glue between the crystal and the chip and then I'm holding it down here with a clamp until it dries here's how I removed the label I just slowly peeled it off with an exacto knife and there's the drop of welders glue underneath the crystal oscillator can and now I'm just going to fold the can down into the glue and then I'll put a clamp on it so now I got both my cameras drying with the welders glue and a clamp holding them I'm getting ready to protect the PZ0420 from moisture by spraying it with Plasti Dip and uh, before I do that I was just looking at what I might want to mask off and I guess I don't really need to mask anything off the lens cap will protect the lens and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spray these cables in place and there's one jack over here I was wondering what I should do about that whether I should cover that up or not and I looked it up on the internet and it turned out uh, that jack which is J2 which on the instructions is called damp plus and minus and drive plus and minus um, it appears that that is actually an output and it's called DC iris control so apparently this model can be fitted with an iris that adjusts to the light coming into the lens and it's powered by J2 but since I don't plan on getting anything like that and I don't even know where to get it I think I'm just gonna go ahead and spray over that too I'm outside here and I'm gonna go ahead and spray the camera with Plasti Dip I'll just use the general paint spraying techniques which is just back and forth Put a little here. Alright, it's starting to drip off, so I don't think I want to put any more if it's going to be doing that. Okay, I guess we'll just let it dry and we'll see what it looks like. So it says here to allow 30 minutes between coats, and then after you do as many coats as you want, three or four average, allow four hours minimum dry time. So maybe I'll give it another coat in about 30 minutes. After about uh, 30 minutes I gave it another coat with the Performex Plasti Dip and here it is hanging up drying. So here's the PZ0420 camera all coated with Plasti Dip 
and maybe Super Bell 82 can tell me if this looks right. I put two coats on it and it looks pretty good to me but maybe he can chime in and let me know if I've done it right. Looks like I can just pull the lens cap off and it should be okay. And some of you may be wondering, does the camera still work? Well, I took the lens cap off it and hooked up my battery and my video. And sure enough, I'm still getting a picture here on the screen. And I've even got the menu board hooked up right here. And when I press the middle button, this is what happens. I get a menu. And then I can go through the menu and change the settings like this. Looks like DC looks a little brighter when it's in the dark, but I think it was originally set on manual. And then when you're done changing the settings, you can just toggle down here to exit. Press the center button. And there it is. So everything's working good. Okay, so you can just leave me any comments you want under the video. And let me know what you think of this whole thing. Coating with Performix plastic dip or not.